Okay, so one of the things that was a challenge was figuring out how to do uh, school and choir and other activities on the go. And the biggest challenge with this is bandwidth. If you've traveled, uh, getting good Wi-Fi, you know, is pretty tough. And if you've traveled and gotten something like a hotspot to share, and like everybody on the planet in 2020 have been doing constant Zoom calls and running like a small tech company for your family, uh, you might have learned that one Wi-Fi hotspot in the car or in your trailer or even your normal Wi-Fi at home isn't always going to work the best. So we solved for this after a little bit of testing by making a more significant investment in technology, but given the amount of time that our kids were spending on devices, um, it was worth it. And we've then solved for the connectivity issue. So I'm gonna show you here, this is one of our kids. She is on choir and she is able to have full, easy to connect to usable bandwidth and I don't have to be 24 seven tech support person. So what she's using is an iPad. We went with the iPad Pro model because uh, that was basically the best platform when we bought these. And it has built in cellular connectivity. So I was able to get a SIM card for free from Verizon for our, our Verizon plan. If you use AT&T or T-Mobile or other uh, GSM based phone plans, you don't have to get a SIM card, but Verizon is CDMA based and requires a uh, SIM card. So pop that in and they connect right up to our existing data plan and then each device has its own data connectivity straight on the device and they don't have to share it with anyone so we don't have the same kind of bandwidth clogging issues and then you can also even on the iPad set a low data mode on cellular which means that you don't end up having the device um, slam all your bandwidth and use all your data which even is an issue on a normal Wi-Fi network so um, I'm happy to share more about this as we go. Um, it's really been a game changer for us once we figured this out because it made for a pretty miserable first half of 2020, trying to do school and work six people on the road from one tiny little internet connection on the road. And going to device specific dedicated connections has really made um, technology usable. And I'm even looking at my kids tech now and going, hmm, that looks pretty nice except then they do stuff with it that I have to say, wait, how did you do that? Like one of them turned on voice command, which is an option apparently on iOS. And he was talking to his iPad and telling it to do things. And I couldn't even figure out how to turn it off. And then he like said, iPad, turn off. And it solved itself. So I've been made obsolete. There we go.